Hello everyone, today I will be telling you the story of the tree stump in the hair, an old Chinese folklore. This story takes place during the Song Dynasty of China. As this is a fictional story, it does not actually take place. To know what the Song Dynasty is, we need to first know what dynasties are. Dynasties are a family line of rulers in a period of time. For example, a father passes on the role of ruler to his eldest son. This cycle repeats until one heir loses control of the throne to another family. That marks the end of a single dynasty. On this slide, we can see all the dynasties that occurred throughout China's history. And the one that is highlighted, the Song Dynasty, is when this story will take place. Now, I will tell you the story of the tree stump in the hair. Once upon a time, there was a farmer who tilled his lands. In his land, there was a tree stump. The farmer was tending to his field when a hare raced across the field and bumped into the stump. This somehow kills the hare. Farmer, whew. I'm finally done tending to all of my plants. Hmm? What's that? The farmer goes to the tree stump and sees the dead hare. Farmer, wow, lucky me. I guess this is what's going to be for supper. This is how farmers farmed their lands and tilted them in the Song Dynasty. The farmer goes home and cooks up the hare for dinner. He finishes his dinner and is getting ready to go to sleep. Farmer, ah, that hare made for a great meal. Maybe if I wait at the tree some tomorrow, another hare will do the same exact thing. The next day, the farmer wakes up and begins his plan. Farmer, maybe instead of tending to my crops today, I will wait for another hare to come bump its head on the same tree stump. This is how people cooked during the Song Dynasty. A few hours passed and he saw no sign of a hare. Farmer, that's quite alright. I just have to be patient. Another hare will definitely bump its head into this stump. Another hour passed, followed by another, but nothing happened. After he discovered that no hare would be coming today, he prepared to go back home. Farmer, well that was disappointing, maybe I will have better luck tomorrow. The farmer went home and cooked himself something to eat and went to sleep. The next day, he continued to sit at the tree stump for the entire day, waiting and waiting and waiting for a hare to become his supper. When nothing happened, he went back home, slept, and repeated the process. This went on for about a week, and the farmer still didn't catch a single hare. In the end, because he did not tend to his crops, the crops died off and the farmer was left with nothing to eat. The End